Um, I really was struck by that film. It was really gorgeous and it did a great job of not shying away from the messier issues to do with mental illness. And I think that, you know, Mo's performance in particular was just outstanding and he's so present and, you know, really is 100% on it uh, in that film and just breathes all the life into it. And, you know, uh, as a spectator and as a member of the audience, you just can't help but just completely empathise with his situation and what he's going through. And I really i am going to have to take a day or two to process that one. So it's great. I was blown away by it, actually. I was sitting there um, and a lot of times find it very difficult to watch, as I imagine half the audience did as well. But what I love about it was um, the power of, of a really good script. And also when some someone's brave enough to go into issues that haven't been explored before and that's that's always incredible and fun. Well I am suitably shattered. I love the camera work, I love the lighting, I really loved everything about it. It is a most rewarding experience and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm glad I was here. Well as, as I was hosting the post-screening discussion I actually find it quite hard uh, to go into work mode because I genuinely wanted to just uh, go away and process uh, just what I'd seen because it was really quite hard hitting and, and, and many parts of it were actually quite disturbing. But the thing is that's what we need in this country for sure when it comes to the mental health system because uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going on at the moment in 2015 in Ireland in the mental health sector that the general public has no idea and, and fair enough Films like this might not be pleasant viewing, but it's absolutely necessary that films like this keep happening.